Hi guys, I'm super stoked because the new moderators from Donny have arrived by me. And I'm talking of course about the Yokozuna and the Ryu. Let's get the video started. So, Donny FL moderators. We know them coming in these uh, dynamite tube style red kind of boxes, which was pretty cool. Love those moderators, never have let me down. And uh, many of us really are happy to be using them and are really happy with them. So, I was very keen and very interested when they announced the new lineup, the Yokozuna and the Ryu, coming in those very nice new boxes, as you can see right here, with some magnetic opening and closing. Very cool new moderators with a little twist, a little bit different than what they've been doing before. They have put a lot of research and a lot of thought into creating these both uh, moderators. And therefore, before I start using them, I want to show them to you on my channel in close up and a little bit on, on their features as well. The Yokozuno, as you can see it right here, is the bigger one and a little bit fatter one of the two. For the moment, it's available, the Yokozuna in uh, 25 and 30 caliber, if I'm not mistaken. A 22 will be coming, Donny told me, so really cool uh, to have a 22 as well for our high power 22 caliber air guns. And the Ryu will be available to 2, 2, 2 5 and 30 caliber as well, which is the smaller one of the two. A little bit more uh, sleek, a little bit more streamlined into your setup maybe. The choice is yours, of course. Both of them look a little bit different than what we're used to. They're also sectional moderators, as you can see right here, and they are solely intended to be used on PCP air guns. Very important, for, especially for some laws in some countries. Um, these are only be meant to be used with PCP air guns. Anyway, they're not made for firearms. So, before I start using them, because I want to start using them as quickly as possible, of course, I wanted to make this video with a close-up on my tabletop view, showing you the ins and outs of both moderators. If you want to know a little bit more, um, just right now, how these work and what you can do with them, there is a very nice video from PJ Clark. I will uh, link his video in the corner of the screen. Um, so you can check it out, how to harmonically tune with them and stuff. He had made a very nice video, uh, some extra benefits, which I can't show here in my uh, studio and that you have to uh, work out in the field. I will be doing those tests myself as well, but for now, I will be just showing you some close-ups. So let's get started. So the Yokozuna and the Ryu, let's take one of them. Both have exactly the same features, just the Ryu is a little bit smaller than the Yokozuna. So let's take the Yokozuna, it's maybe a little bit easier uh, on picture. Both of them come in this very nice little box, as you can see, with that uh, magnetic closing. Your new moderator, very nicely uh, packaged, as you can see, with a nice little verge. Uh, this one is the, the Dragon's Ambush. You can read it, very cool of them to put it inside the lid. When silence is a priority, the slow of the logo, we all know and intended for PCP use only, very important as well. So let's take the Yokozuna, both of them are exactly the same, the Yokozuna is just a little bit bigger. So opening up the box, let's take it out. And straightly you can see, it doesn't only come in a very nice packaging now, it is also very nicely crafted as we know from them. You don't see any blemishes on it, no tool marks, it really feels solid. It's a little bit uh, heavy moderator, as I can say, but it really feels solid. And when you uh, upgrade your stuff, you always want it to be premium, of course. And this one definitely is it. Yokozuna, as you can see here, for PCP use only. Very cool. And of course, let's get it straight out of the room. The very most important and cool thing about this moderator as well is the quick disconnect system. Donny has a lineup now, which, uh, starts using this quick disconnect that you can mount to the end of your barrel and we'll do it in just a second. And therefore you can tread on or yeah, you can uh, slide on, hook on, however you want to call it. You're a moderator, but I believe I saw on um, our Mac, he also has some um, muzzle brakes that can be uh, used with this. Uh, very cool. You can swap it out from, uh, uh, if you have one on each of your rifles, you can just swap out your moderator to any one of them. All of them are now uh, specifically made for uh, the caliber you buy them in. So a 22 is a 22, a 25 is a 25, a 30 is a 30. So don't mix up on that. Don't um, always use the right calibrated uh, caliber for the air gun or the caliber that you're using. 
I hope I'm explaining this right. Uh, so as I mentioned before, PJ made a very nice explanation um, on the calibers and what to do, what not to do, and what to look at. So the quick disconnect, very cool feature. I really like the quick disconnect on the moderators. Um, it uh, takes out the hassle of how much uh, uh, turning you have to do before it's connected. Uh, it's quick, it's easy, it's uh, very simple to do. And something else they also have done is put some kind of a spring inside right here, which creates some spring tension. And when you put it in, and you would, uh, I'm not gonna do it now without having the barrel on it, when you twist it in, it always creates the right amount of tension, exactly the same amount of tension on um, the moderator and its connection, therefore not messing up your harmonics. What you could do with a normal uh, one and a half UNF, I would say, you could twist it maybe a little bit more tighter, affecting your harmonics and every time have a little bit different point of impact. So the quick disconnect, very cool, very big fan of this. The quick disconnect, is very simple. I just have here a, a shroud for uh, showing purposes. Take out the end cap. This is your one and a half UNF. This one is one and a half UNF. And you can simply thread this on like so. This is gonna create your uh, hand tension, of course, but if you wanna secure it, they also made a little uh, threaded hole right there. And inside your box, you will find a little bag with a key and an Allen. And when I first heard this, I was a little bit concerned, but I'm happy to say or to see that I have uh, included an Allen key with a little Teflon tip uh, on the end. So when you screw it down, just like this, I was worried uh, the screw would bind into your one and a half UNF threads, then ruining your threads. And that's really not what you're looking for. So tightening it up just like this, it creates friction and it shouldn't come loose. Look for that dimple together with that part, and then you can just push it on. Cool. Then that moderator, of course, with a quick disconnect, very cool, can always put it exactly to the same amount of tension, same amount of pressure. But another very cool thing is that it's actually a sectional moderator. As you can see, we have a front section. We have some middle baffled sections, just like this. We have a little bit larger chamber at the end right here. And now you can start mix and matching all kinds of stuff together. If you look at them, they are very cool and interesting design. Uh, as you can see, where the expel of air can come out from the vents here on the side. With your caliber restricted, as I said, every caliber has their own size. So make sure you're not using um, the wrong size of baffles. Let's for instance, you have a few of those moderators. Don't start mixing the baffles because they are really uh, caliber uh, dependent, as I would say. But then you can make a now this is gonna be look very silly, but you can make yourself a very tiny short one with just the end cap. You can put this one, as you can see, that's a little bit a bigger chamber with an end cap. All of them have a little O-ring to seal off their uh, connection, just like this. Oops. Just like this. And now you have yourself a little bit longer one. And as I mentioned, um, or PJ mentions in the video, you can use the amount of baffles that you need in order uh, for some harmonic tuning or stuff and get better accuracy with one more, one less. Um, maybe you can add an even a little bit more or one less in, and you will see your groups opening up, shrinking. So that's for you to experiment with, with how many of those sections you are uh, planning on using. Now, this is the Yokozuna. Let's quickly take the box of the Ryu, see if you get the same stuff inside and if the baffles are also exactly the same. Here we have the Ryu. Same nice little box with magnetic opening 
also a thank you note from Donnie with another phrase. Really cool. And as you can see here, same design, the quick uh, release that also normally fits in this one. And line it up correctly like this. So you can have uh, buy these uh, separate on different guns and you can still use your same moderator um, on different guns with just the uh, extra coupling that you put on every end of every gun. Also here, the spring tension inside to create exactly that spring tension that is needed to keep it on the same side. On the Ryu, as you can see, we have three different sections which can be undone, section one, section two, and section three. These are all three, the same sizes, um, not like on the Yokozuna, you have uh, three shorter ones and then a bigger chamber. Probably you can buy these chambers separately and therefore um, start adding them to your moderator uh, if you want a longer one or whatever you want to do with it. Same designs on the baffle, on the Ryu, so those both moderators are crafted with exactly the same um, philosophy and design in thought. So there is only as much you can of course show and tell about the moderator and uh, as you can see those moderators, the new lineup by Donnie FL, the Ryu and the Yokozuna, very well crafted, very high quality, really nice build and um, really looking forward using them. Now of course you don't only want to see the show and tell, you also want to know of course how they perform. A little spoiler alert, you're talking about Donnie moderators, they will be working, believe me. So, in the next video, I'll be testing them out as well on the range, um, playing around with the sections, see what kind of different in accuracy it will give me like uh, PJ did in his video and see if I can create more or less the same results. If you have any questions about these moderators, please uh, do leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. As always, I thank you for watching today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.